Hello guys, I have an iPhone 6 that is dead completely. So today I'm going to show you different ways that I use to pass. Uh, sometimes we don't, uh, most of the time I just use the battery connector. And once I do that, I usually get a cycling number. But if the number is not the one that you always get, that's when I change. So I'm going to show you right now. Go to voltage. We are going to connect the charger flex, the charger, and ground to ground, and positive on the positive connector. Then we are getting now we're getting 0 0.63. This indicate that we have the tri charge is defectly, defectly. Right now we know 0 0.6. You can know that's the tri star immediately. But if you don't get the number that's when you're going to have to do different things like the ones that we're going to do now uh if you don't get a number you can go to the to, you go straight to the tristar 3.0 tristar let me show you here let me transfer the camera so you can see <coughs> So you can see here. Okay. Right there. We have let me see if you can see there. That's the okay. There we're going to look for the lines. 3v0 tristar and 1.8 SD run. So we change the multimeter. Uh, so I'm going to change it. Ground to ground. Then we're going to touch the cap. On this cap, I'm supposed to get 3 voltage and getting 2.9. And on this one, I'm supposed to get 1.8. And I'm getting, let me see here. 1.8. Usually the one that is bad is the 3V0 TriStar. That's the one that indicates something is bad with the TriStar. Okay. Another way to do it, you can go to the thermal camera. You go to the thermal camera now. Let me try for the thermal camera. Let me see. Monitor. Okay. I'm going to transfer the thermal camera. Just going to put the, you can see right there, dry store is getting very hot. Okay, so that indicates the dry store is defective. Remember, this phone is dead completely, completely dead. Okay, another way to do it, let's do, let's use another way, which is the duck flex tester, dot flex tester, which is this Chinese um, adapter. Let's, this one is going to, if you have battery, you will have one number, and if you don't have battery, the value is going to be different, okay? So now we're going to connect the drop flex tester, and then Go to dial mode. It's right there. Positive, we're going to put in the number A. And with the ground with the negative, you're going to be touching the numbers. As you can see, we have 315 and number one, 720, 720, 41649, T22. So on the number Two is 721, you see, and number three, 725. I have previewed do this before. Usually, you know, for others, when it's bad, it's usually higher. You see, this is a normal for me on the flock. I have 512, bad was 532. This is very similar to the one that I have right now. Um, let me show you something. Ah, we can also do it. We 
can also use uh, we can also use this one this way use this one here we can check by milliamps this is going to be different I'm not, not going to use this I'm going to use another multimeter for that that's the one that I have ready for that I use this I don't use my expensive multimeter for this let me transfer the screen now to now okay now we are going to use uh, we're going to do the same test with the draw flex but this in this time we are going to use the power supply okay we're going to check by milliamps which is this one right here okay we have to number to the number a we used to have the red one so now we're gonna have ground to the power supply I have a solder already so I don't have to be like touching then I have this is supposed to be the black one. I have it on the positive. This is this goes to the positive on the power supply. And this one, I'm just going to touch each individual um, point, pad. Okay, if I touch here, you will see here, using this method, number one, number two, 283, Number three, 383. Number four, it's supposed to be zero, it's fine. Five, 371. You see, and uh, watch what you're getting on the power supply. Six, 283. Seven, 289. Now, if I do the same test, remember, this is the bad uh, board. Now, I'm going to use another iPhone 6 with a good dry star. Okay. This is a good tri star. I'm gonna connect the battery. I suppose in a good tri star, if you do this test, you're supposed to get zero at all. Okay? So if I test, if I go number one, you see? Number two, see the power supply, we have zero. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? So there's many ways to check if the tristar is defective. Uh, you have to select which one you want, which one you want to use. This is what I'm using right now. Let me see if you guys can see. I have this here, right there. They are go through there. Okay. So hopefully you guys, this is helpful for you. Hopefully. So thank you for watching. See you next time.